Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome back to my channel uh, I think two videos ago uh, I made a video uh, how I can use USRP as a signal generator so where I have plug-in uh, there's a code available on USD which is known as USD signal generator based on that you can generate frequencies out from your USRP and then you can connect an antenna or you can power up your circuit so you can use your USRP as a signal generator so today I'm gonna use my USRP which is plugged in right here via BNC connector and um, SMA mail and that is connected to my oscilloscope right here and we're gonna visualize the signal which is being generated by my USRP N210 so for this I'm gonna go to my GNU radio uh, this is connected to my computer as you can clearly see right here this is where my uh, is connected to so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna type in a post which is uh, known as USD signal generator underscore GUI and I'm gonna choose a frequency of about 100 megahertz because my oscilloscope is rated 400 megahertz that's the maximum signal I can see on my oscilloscope so I'm going to type in 100, 100 uh, megahertz and I'm going to run this script as soon as I run this script now this will run as soon as I run this script I will see a graph like this so I see a control panel uh, where you can generate a constant signal complex sinusoid Gaussian noise uniform noise two-tone signal and sweep you can select the frequencies from here uh, I'm just gonna leave it at default at about 100 megahertz at the same time my USRP uh, the, the motherboard that I have the RF daughter card that I have in my it is actually UBX so UBX will be able to generate frequencies from 10 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz but I don't have no way of showing you uh, 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 anything above 100 megahertz because my oscilloscope is rated 400 megahertz okay so just to show you the basic principle of it so I'm gonna choose a complex sinusoid signal and it is generating about 100 megahertz and the amplitude and this TXRX is actually the connection which is right here you can connect your antenna but I have connected via BNC connector to my oscilloscope and this is what I'm seeing right now so what I can do now I'm gonna go to my settings I'm gonna auto set this and here we go I'm seeing the frequency I'm gonna turn off the math option because it's also giving me the math option so I'm gonna do a default and it's generating a frequency of about 100 megahertz from my USRP that is connected to my oscilloscope so I'm just gonna simply lower the amplitude down a little bit and play with my scale and boom here we go I'm seeing a hundred megahertz signal. I can go to my, <coughs> I'll go to measure. And then from measure, I'm gonna add a measurement and I'm gonna add frequency measurement. I'll go to time and frequency and I'll select frequency. Hence, you will be seeing about hundred megahertz of signal. So this is what I'm seeing right now. So about hundred megahertz of signal. I can change this to Gaussian noise from my UHD signal and this is how basically a noise is looking like even though the signal lies at about 100 megahertz this is about uniform noise so this is being changed from here so by changing it to uniform noise this is what I'm seeing on my oscilloscope a signal that looks something like this uh, okay, then I can also change the amplitude All right, so as you can see I can go to complex sinusoid and then I can also increase the amplitude so you can see the change in amplitude So basically I am operating my USRP into 10 as a function generator so you can power up your circuits however you want I can also play around with transmitter gain which is a built-in power amplifier in your USRP by changing this so you can you can change this and you can clearly see there's a jump in an amplitude when I change this transfer again when I lower it down 
when I increase it, I can see the change in amplitude as well when I increase the transmitter gain. So let me just reduce this down. I can also do a couple other things. Um, I can go to a math function and then I can do FFT. When I click on FFT, I'll get FFT of this signal. Channel source 1, yes. And by moving this, positioning this on top and by lowering it as amplitude down and by calling my cursor in I can move this and I can clearly see I have a signal that is at about 100 megahertz right and that has a signal strength of negative 9 dB okay then I can do Gaussian noise and let's see what happens to the spectrum at the bottom Right, so let's just change this to Gaussian noise and I can clearly see oh well, I can clearly see there's a lot of things in my noise floor but there's not much change in the amplitude so I'm not producing much of a noise uh, basically you can still see a signal at about 100 megahertz so this is a basically a small tutorial uh, if you have SMA connector mail handy you can just connect it to your USRP like this right here and then connect it to your oscilloscope just to see how does the signal look like and you can control this using a program which is a built-in program which is known as UHD underscore signal generator and you can power up your circuits using USRP so I hope you like this small tutorial if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel